Hi, I'm Corey Earhart with uh, Martin Deerline Product Support. Today we're going to talk about an R44 sprayer, uh, the setup of the BoomTrack Pro on the Gen 4 monitor. Uh, I'm going to run through the setup of it and then we're going to talk about a couple things with troubleshooting the sensors on the boom outside. Okay, to get to our BoomTrack Pro setup, there's three different ways to get to it. On our, dis our home screen here, I can touch the BoomTrack Pro um, side there. It takes me to the BoomTrack Pro setup diagnostic page. The other two ways of getting there is our hotkey at the bottom of the display. So I'll press there, it takes us to our booms and nozzle page. And the last way is through the menu. Same thing, booms and nozzles. It takes us to our, our boom track page on the right hand side. Within that, we go into the diagnostic page again. Make sure the boom track is on, so we hit our arrow and dot takes us into this page, make sure the boom track pro is on. Below that we'll pick our terrain type, so we have the choice of flat or hilly, depending on what area you're in. We'll pick flat for here, and then your height mode, match center height or individual, we'll leave it on match center height. From there we can go back, and now we can look at our choice of between canopy or ground. I'm going to pick ground because we're in the early spring here. Rule of thumb with that is make sure that your sensors can read the ground as your crop uh, grows up a little bit taller and the canopy closes in the ground we want to make sure we switch our mode over to canopy then so the sensors read the canopy. The other thing is center frame control uh, we can turn that on and off basically if we're in muddy conditions and we're seeing a lot of mud being kicked up on the rear onto the rear uh, uh, center sensor make sure we shut that off and we just let the sensors run on the booms themselves. Within that we see our target heights here, um, below that our raise and lower response times. So basically what I like to do is to get a customer going, make sure we start at 3 and see how the, it reacts to the conditions of the field. We can bump up our response rate to 5 as, as the highest or take it down to 1 as the lowest setting and we can do that on raise and lower separately. Diagnostic side here, when we're ready to go we can just check and make sure scroll up and down our diagnostic to see that everything is green and ready to roll. As you can see here, the only thing left, everything is good, we just have our resume to activate. So we can X out of here now, back to our main page. Our Boom Track Pro is ready to go if I activate. Now my sensors are activated and ready to go. A couple things to watch out for when we see issues in the field with our boom track sensors where they're not following the ground properly, um, they seem to be jerking up and down a lot. A couple of checks uh, to check for. Make sure we haven't got any mud on the bottom of these sensors. Uh, more so on the sensors that are closer to the mainframe uh, getting kicked up mud from the wheels on the sprayer. Make sure they're clear and clean ready to go. If we do have mud on them, make sure we're not using a high pressure pressure washer to clean them. Make sure we're using a rag and just a wet rag to get rid of the, the dirt off the sensor. Another thing to check for is to make sure the sensor hasn't come in contact with like say a tree or a fence post, that our sensor bracket is not pushed out of the way or out of, out of its proper home position. Uh, it can cause the uh, sensor to read part of the boom and causes it to jerk around and whatnot. So make sure that that sensor is back in its proper place again if it comes to contact with anything. Finally, if we're going to, everything is good that way. We're going to calibrate the sensors again, so make sure that we, when we calibrate our sensors we're not over top of any snow or ice or water. Make sure we're over dry ground so the sensor can read the ground properly and not get any reflection back again.